Hello everyone, welcome back to channel Geek Nepal. Today I will be doing this simple switch and lamp circuit. I'll do the latching circuit, I'll do the reset circuit, and I also will be doing interlock circuit. Okay, those are the four circuits I'll be working on today. Alrighty, let's begin onto the basic tab here. Let's add a normally open contact let's define this tag name here already close okay add a output already let's define this output as a lamp light on and off already if you have been using the switch and lights at home um, if you turn the switch on the lights will turn on if you turn the switch off the lights will turn off right simple basic concept here let's simulate and this, when the switch is on the light is on when the switch is off the light is off okay all this ribbon here some of the buttons uh, they are they have turned gray because we are on simulation mode you just need to click here and you'll get back to program mode okay alrighty let's go back here oh if you want to define your inputs and output you just need to do you can just add it here switch 3 okay SWIT SWITCH3 okay that's how you can predefine the inputs outputs uh, that are connected to the PLC okay this memory bit is internal okay let's add a open circuit here which will be our start push button and one more close contact here output contact here let's define this output contact okay let's make this a memory bit because we are making a latching circuit okay close self-holding circuit let's define this here this is our start push button which is on your enclosure okay Let's define our um, stop push button which is also on the enclosure ready okay and basic tab and one more and this will be our internal memory this will be contact okay This is our memory bit this is our same memory coil okay so vertical anyway I'm in open contact time here this will be our memory bit from the coil already close okay this is our latching circuit let me explain by simulating this and switch off okay switch on the light on initially this stop push button is green because it's normally closed contact basically these contacts are closed that's what it means okay the start push button normally open contact so this has not been closed so it's not green let's push the start push button and the system is ready okay let's turn off the start push button what happens is the system ready is still on 
the system ready bit will hold this hold this ready system ready coil which is known as latching okay this is how a latching circuit works while driving the motor while running the motor you need this latching circuit okay let's close this here okay let's do this um, reset okay mm. and do the open let's define this normally open switch let's say this is switch one if the switch one of the switch is pressed and you want to reset the output let's say output what output is okay you wanna output reset okay so if the switch is pressed reset switch is pressed that will reset the output okay which is pretty much straightforward I wanna do here um, interlock circuit right okay let's say this is switch 2 okay and let's say it normally close contact here this is switch 3 okay close okay and out say this will be this will be run mode and the light will turn green you know we can put a alrighty let's do a normally close contact here and let's make it switch to okay okay let's do Let's add an open contact. Let's make it switch three. Close. Okay. And out. Output. Mm, here. Stop red light. Okay. We're on to the wrong five and six. Let's simulate here. When the switch 2 is pressed, right, when the switch 2 is pressed and the switch 3 is normally closed, the green light will turn on, okay? And when the switch 2 is normally closed, this bit will turn off, okay? When let's run the switch 3, this red light will turn on, but if, if the switch 2 is turn, toggled, this will on the red light or the system will be in stop mode okay this is how the interlock is done basically open close of switch 2 and switch 3 and close open with the basically the opposite switches okay that's how that will interlock the outputs okay that's how the interlock will be done uh, basically on this tutorial we did a simple switch circuit latching our holding circuit self holding circuit system output reset or reset set reset coil okay and the interlock uh, system okay and thank you so much for your time today